I'm Chef Diane DeMayo and welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making something super tasty. I am making a matzo bray. What is that? Well, it's kind of like a Jewish style scrambled eggs with matzo. Traditionally, it's made with caramelized onions, but today I'm going to do it the non-traditional way. I am making a mushroom onion matzo bray with some salsa ranchero and for that, you want to go to my bootleg tip site because you will actually see how salsa ranchera is made. But first, let's get going and I'm going to make a delicious, non-traditional matzo bray. I got some onion. Okay. We're just going to cut it up nicely so it cooks really quick with me mushrooms. The key to not trying when you're cutting onions is having a very, very sharp knife. Why? Because the molecules or the molecules, whatever you want to call it, doesn't break open. But also, me, you wear contact lenses. And then you just never have them. It doesn't cry. No cry, cry. All right, I got about three mushrooms, four mushrooms. Slice them up nice and thin. All right, so this is done. I am going to crack open about DC three, four eggs. Let's give it a good beating. And before I start to add my matzah, I'm going to go to the stove. It's already on. I'm going to add a little bit of oil and butter so I can get my mushrooms and onions inside there so they start to soften while I actually get my eggs and matzah together. All right, so now that's melting. We are going to stick this in a pot. and let those cook off for just a few minutes. In the meantime, these are whole wheat matzo sheets, which you can use regular. They even have, I think, gluten-free ones. I'm gonna dampen them. Crumble. Crumble. I'm gonna do half of one more. Okay, maybe the whole thing. Get it all in there. And let's go to that stove. Make sure the onions and mushrooms are doing their job. And we're gonna add this, saute it, plate it at the salsa ranchera, and we're gonna taste it. Now generally, traditionally, the onions should be caramelized prior to adding your egg and matzo mixture. I don't necessarily like to do that because mine is a very non-traditional one. We just want to give them a little bit of softness to them so there's still a nice little crunch to it. I don't want it too sweet. And the mushrooms, well, as you can see, my mushrooms are just about cooked through and that's really all I want. And now we're gonna add the matzo mixture. And scramble. It's gonna get a little brown. I like to have my eggs cooked well done. I'm not a soft kind of scramble person, so I will cook mine well done. Okay, it is ready to go. Nice and fried. Dry like I like it. Get some on that plate. Pretty. And let's get some of that salsa ranchera on there. There it is. Let's have a bite and see how delicious this is. Okay, here we go. Now that is a super tasty, non-traditional matzo bray. And I will see you next week with another delicious, delicious meal. See you soon. Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to Bootleg Tips. Today we are making something super yummy, spicy, and you can put it on just about anything. We're making a salsa ranchera.